Shoo! Well, folks, welcome to Antarctica, aka my freaking backyard. How's it going, animals? Dale! What's up, Dale? What are you doing, buddy? Come here, bud. Come on, come say hi to everybody. Hey, Dale, how's it going? Well, it got real cold, boys. Like, real cold. Um, actually, today is actually not that cold. It's high of like 20 to 40 mile an hour wind. The real feels like in the single digits, if not below zero right now. But tomorrow, the real temperature, actual temperature for a high is six, and the low is like negative two, meaning with some wind, it's gonna feel like like negative 32 out here. It's gonna be a little bit chilly, which, you know, these animals do all right. Millie, you enjoying some apple? Did one of the goats give you an apple? The goats are doing all right, but with it being so cold, we figured we should probably board up those doors. So there's three doors on each barn. Um, I figured we should board them up. So Hookin was on plywood duty and he got three sheets, two here, there's one out there. Um, we need more, so Slayman's on plywood duty and he's coming back with some more. But we're gonna try to take some pieces of plywood and kind of board those up a little bit just to give them more of a wind block, a better enclosure. Like those are great in the summer and like, you know, spring and fall. But when it's, you know, the real feel, the, the actual like, you know, what do you call that? The, the, uh, the wind chill. Wind chill, that's it. The wind chill is below zero. Having them in a wide open building like that just makes me feel like they're gonna be a little bit chilly. Whether they are or not, I, I just feel bad for them, especially the little guys. So we're gonna try to board those up. There's also some other things we need to take care of. This right here is a 16 foot fence panel on a 10 foot gate, meaning there's like six feet that way. We're gonna cut, cut that off. So that way this gate can swing freely. Um, so we're gonna board it up. And then we also, we have two special deliveries coming. Um, there's an awesome subscriber. He's bringing some straw. Um, I'm not sure how many, at least like 20 uh, bales. But I told him, I said, I could take up to probably about 40. And we're gonna go get that other barn, that huge one, set up and ready to go. We're gonna get boarded up with hay. This one boarded up with new hay. So everything's nice and warm. And then we're getting sheep delivered today that's going to be the videos we're going to get sheep um we're kind of on a time crunch there's no way we're going to have all this ready because the sheep are probably going to be here in like an hour um but that's fine i mean it's we basically just need to have it done before they go to bed and before it gets cold tomorrow because right now i mean it's cold out here don't get me wrong i mean i'm not warm by any means but like you know the animals are chilling they're enjoying life they're eating they're not that cold if they were cold they would have been inside right now and so even if the sheep come, we're gonna try to put the sheep in this uh, enclosure. The person bringing the sheep found them on Craigslist. They're nice enough to bring them. So huge shout out to you. Um, saves us a lot of time. Plus I don't have an animal trailer. So I didn't wanna have to put them in a dog kennel because obviously they're gonna be cold today. So they're bringing them in their own rig and they're gonna drop them off. So I'm gonna ask them what they think about the sheep living here. If, if, they, if they're kind of against the sheep living in here, what we'll do is we'll take Rick and Felipe bring them over here and put the sheep over there uh, for today until we could probably get some more fence panels and run and split this section in half to where we could put like all these animals with the big enclosure and then give the sheep this smaller one in this area basically like this big enclosure divide it in half but we don't have the material for that also driving a fence post in this type of weather it just ain't gonna happen so if she's like super against us putting the sheep in with all these goats and donkeys which i don't really see why they would be the only thing i've heard of is like copper goats need copper or something like that but but sheep don't i don't know i'll ask her i saw on the on the picture she had goats as well so i'll ask her if she's chill with it i would love to have everything in here and i think there's three of them coming i'm actually not even sure three or four i think three um but if not We'll end up moving those guys here, since we know they'll be fine, and give the sheep their own enclosure. Anyways, that's enough talking. We're going to try to get to work. We've already had these guys fed. We did a live stream earlier and got them all fed. So they're good for now, but we definitely need to get, to get started here and get to work. First things first, I'm going to try to take care of this gate, so that way we can get in and out with the, with the sheets of plywood, and also the, the goat delivery, and or sorry, the sheep delivery and the hay delivery will be a little bit easier if we have a working fence. So let's see if we can get this thing cut up. All right, so I was thinking we need to, so we need to cut this thing right here. So I'm thinking try these. I do have a uh, grinder as well, not the app, the, the tool. I think this will work. Oh yeah. Oh sheesh. Cut all these off. That way, Dale. That way you've got some. Uh, well, we can open the gate a little bit bigger, and then I'll take the grinder and cut off, you know, grind down those edges because they're going to be a little sharp. We don't need we don't need poor little Dale getting any cuts on them from rubbing up against this. There we go. Look at that. That worked pretty good. Now we've got another panel in case we need it for something. But now let's test this gate and see if it's any better. Oh yeah. 
Oh shoot, Dale, get back. Get back. Hey. See, now we can open it way up. Oh, that's nice. I also brought some zip ties. So we can zip tie that. All right, let me go grab those real quick. Dale, you're gonna light on fire here, buddy. You gotta watch out. Uh oh. Oh, she's dead. Now you can't get caught. You take some zip ties here, which I know a lot of you guys hate on my zip ties, okay? They're just the greatest, the greatest things on earth. So, here, where this thing's doing a little sag action, just take your, take your zip tie and hang it up a little bit. Look at that. Now it's not, now it's not dangling, dragging on the ground. You guys see when you open the gate, it kind of drags a little bit. Now, look at this. Dale, you're free. Oh God. We're gonna have fun getting him back. Let's see, you can open it all the way up. Pull the truck in, pull the mule in. So much nicer than what we were doing before. And when you shut it, Aaron, Aaron, no. It automatically stops. Like that. Hey, hey, Millie, Millie. Hey, Dale, you want in? Dale, come on, get inside. Hey, Dale, go inside. Go, 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 go. See, it automatically stops. So that way you don't have to worry about it swinging in. If you just wanna kinda shut it real quick. Can you shut it? Bingo. Well, well, well. Look who showed up, my guy. Slamming's here, that means we got all the wood. He was on plywood duty. He went out and got 10 more, well, five more full sheets of uh, four by eight plywood. So that means we've got a total of eight. I think that's what we needed. It was four, four pit building. Okay. What up, Rick? How's it going? How's it going? It's chilly out. Dude, it's not warm. Hopefully you got warmer clothes than that. Oh yeah, there is. So you, they cut them for you, eh? Yeah. Really? In the middle, yeah. What? Oh dang, she's she's squeezed. Yeah, she's, she's a little tight. In there. That's all right. I'll work. You excited for some sheep or what? Oh god, yeah. we got sheep coming today. They'll be they'll be here probably in like 30, 40 minutes. Ooh. Yeah, but we just we fixed the gate. You're gonna be super impressed by the new gate. Oh god, it's a beast now. How's Dale? Dale, dude, he's a beast, bro. What you haven't met Dale? Yeah, he's even met Dale. What? Best animal, dude. Actually, oh my better god. Than Rick? Way better than Rick. Yeah. I can't believe you've never met Dale. No, dude, Dale is the greatest animal on the farm by like a long shot. Him and Millie, Millie just chases him all day. He's a dog. So like, I keep saying it on video, but like, he's literally part dog, 100%. Like, he does everything a dog does. The dude's a beast. I can't believe you haven't met him. All right, well, that'll be fun. You gotta see, I'll put Millie in there and she can, she can chase him around a little bit. But you better get dressed for you get hypothermia. All right, well, we got the gate completely fixed up and ready to go. Uh, we're gonna put all the hay in the ducks trailer. Gentleman should be here any minute, but Sam informed me he hasn't met Dale yet. So yeah, but check this out. Just one one yank and you can swing her wide open. That way you can drive the mule in there, trucks in there. So much nicer. Should have done that since day one. Was just lazy. Now now we're uh, we're good to go. Anyways, there's Dale. Let's go into oh, don't he's let him. Soft. He's so soft. That, I'm heck? telling you, he's part dog, bro. He's so oh. soft. Oh yeah. We got the hay, hay delivery on deck. We're gonna get it unloaded here and then we're gonna use that, like I've been talking about, to kind of fill up, fill up the barns and stuff. You're good there. Yeah, you can back up a little bit. Perfect. <laughs> well, there you have it, folks. We got fresh bedding for all of the animals here. Um, shout out to Drake. He came down. He's a subscriber and he's like, Hey, we've got, Hey, his dad came out. They delivered it for us. Uh, awesome. So huge thank you. Shout out to those guys. Big thank you. Cause now we didn't have to leave and we've got this and the sheep are literally 30 seconds away. So it's like a lot of things are happening right now. We have yet to even get started on the barn building. Um, I wanted to get all those barns built and, and all this stuff situated prior to the sheep coming, but you know what? The sheep are here. We ran out of time, but good news. We've got the hay in the ducks trailer. That way we can shut it up. Keep it nice and dry. This should last us. I mean, we'll probably use half of this at least today. You know, building up walls, putting bedding down, stuff like that. But this will last us hopefully the next, you know, at least few weeks, and then we'll have to get a little bit more. And then uh, we also need to get some feeding hay, some some stuff to feed them. But we still got a few more bales, so we're gonna try to get some of this plywood unloaded, and then the sheep should be here. So I'm excited. Oh, you guys are cute. Really? Hey, I'm not leaving. Thank you. 
new friends. They're your new friends. Alright, I'm gonna walk them open. So cute. This one's kind of a pill and she's pulled all their hair out. Oh, nice. I apologize. Oh, that's alright. I mean, it happens. She was a bottle baby. She's okay. From a set of triplets. Got it. Um she's just all leg. Yeah. And these two are a set of twins. They're a little more skittish. They're a little bit more skittish. Yeah. Okay. But she's a demonstrative demanding for attention. That's fine. That's how all of these are. So we're <laughs> you're used to it, including the dog over there. So uh is there anything what do they what do they eat? They are they good on brome hay? Uh they or, on no. alfalfa grass mix. Okay. And then um, because it's lambing season, everybody gets sweet feed. Yep, I've been giving them a little bit of sweet feed as well, so that's easy. Do you know if they would be fine with brome? That should be fine. Okay. They're chill, man. We gotta name them now. You guys need to name them. We're, let's go inside and I'll give you guys a closer look and then we gotta get to work building up these barns. Luckily it's not, I mean, it's cold right now, but it's not super cold. It's getting colder tonight, so. I'll give you guys a closer look. You guys gotta name these things. Um, the two smaller ones are twins. The other big one was a bottle, bottle baby, bottle lamb. Um, as they call it, and it's way bigger. I mean, look at these things. I mean, this thing's this thing's chungus. So we need names. We need names for chungus. Chungus is a little darker, super tall. It looks like a freaking horse. And then these guys are twins. One's got a green tag. One's got an orange tag on the their right ear, so we can kind of tell the difference. But dude, sheep are dope. Yeah. I didn't ever realize how. Look at these. They're just chilling. I didn't know sheep were that tall. I just imagined sheep were these like squatty little fluff balls. And these things are straight chungus. We definitely could get Bonzo, or I guess hooking for that matter, to ride one of these suckers. Should definitely get you to ride one of these. But we need some name suggestions down below. I'm gonna give you guys a closer look. This is Chungus, okay? I mean, we could just call her Chungus for now. But she's the super tall one, and these guys are twins. They look the pretty much exact same. Look at them. They're so cute. They're just chilling. They'll get, they'll get used to us eventually. All these animals. What are you, Dale? Are you scared of the sheep? Look at everything is in here. Donkey, you cannot tell me you're scared of the sheep. It's just a sheep, bro. They're just chilling. There ain't nothing wrong with no sheep. What are you guys saying? Oh, it's warm back here with the I'm sun. I'm surprised Karen's not giving him a look. Yeah, Karen, what's that strat? You seem to be the dominant one. Well, now we got three sheep. You guys need to name those, but the video's not over. Um, We need to, we need to get to work here and go full Bob the Builder and try to get these barns set up. This bigger one, I think we should try to work on first since all these animals could, even the sheep, could all sleep in here. I mean, I see what we have now, they pretty much sleep on that side. Should we, so we could just keep it, but we also have a big building. So I feel like you might as well use the big building if you've got the big building. So let's get some, we'll haul some plywood in here and get to work. Shee, look at all the plywood. This is kind of, this is what me and, me and Slam have kind of been dangling with. You got a sheet here, sheet there. This is gonna be your door. I was originally going to put the door in the middle, but the way the plywood works, this makes more sense. Um, I mean, it's it's not like having this much of a gap. Even if snow blows into this, it's not even that big. Also, I just thought if we could also put one above it, so it would be... I guess now we'd have to crawl in there. That probably wouldn't, that probably wouldn't be good. If you had like a small piece of plywood, just make a smaller door, so it's not so much. But this basically, in here, we're going to have this, and then we're going to take plywood and go up. So... All this will be covered and all they're gonna have is this door. That way, no matter how much it's snowing or windy or anything like that, it'll be covered. And this is the big building. We're gonna do it on this one. Same thing on the other one. And then we're gonna have to bring some hay in and I'm gonna line kind of the bottom there, bottom there and even right there to prevent them from pushing up against it and then throw hay down. And we're gonna try to put in a hay feeder. Um, I don't know if I've got the right screws for it. We might not be able to get it in today, but I'm gonna try to train them to you know, eat the hay in here. Much bigger building. All of them, including the sheep, could stay in here. Uh, it'd be a lot easier to try to maintain one building than two. Um, but if they want to go stay in the other one, that's fine too. We're going to make sure both are enclosed and ready to go for this cold weather. But Millie, you like it in here? She got she got horned by Karen a little bit ago. Karen, Karen smoked her and she yelped. So she's kind of, she's not about the Karen life anymore. But anyways, enjoy the time lapse. Yeah, let's see what's more. Yep. Um...
What the? Dale! Dale! No, Dale, no! Quit sniffing it. I'm trying to get dope shots, bro. Look at it. It's kind of dark in here, but look at it. Both of them are complete. This one's done. I don't have much battery life because it keeps freaking dying out here. Being cold, we don't have much memory card either, but give you kind of a quick look. Look at it. You guys warm in there? I bet the baby, are, are the babies in here? Are they warm? Dale, Dale, can you watch out? Thanks. Oh God, Karen, chill. Look at the babies. They're so cute. They're chilling, they're all comfy and cozy now. Look at it. But we've got the mule loaded up with hay. Dale, watch out. We got the mule loaded up with hay. We're gonna load up the inside of the new barn and uh, get some hay in there, feed in it. See if we can convince the sheep to go sleep in it. Either way, any of the animals, they could all fit in there or they could all fit in there, but we're gonna get all the hay unloaded in there. So it's ready to go and we'll show you the finished product. Shoo! Karen, you enjoying the hay? Sorry, is this thing foggy or is it just me? Let's see here. Oh, hang on. Oh! Buddy you learned how to use a camera today. All right, let's get get the strings off. We're gonna we're gonna try something. We're gonna bring their their feed, their hay, in here. And why don't you sprinkle? There you go. Oh, look at everything. Look at sheep. Sheesh! Oh, oh chill! Hey! Chill. Donkeys, you don't want any food? We figured we'd try putting their food in here, and this would encourage them to stay in here, you know, tonight maybe. At least, at least the sheep are seeing what this new building is all about. But look, we fluffed it up, we put three bales on that side, and three on this side to cover that gap that was there. And then, and then you got Dale, who's just eating the straw, even though there's perfectly good feed hay right there. But, looks like everything's kind of... They're doing all right. They'll, they'll probably house this tonight. I'll probably come bring them another bell tomorrow. But it looks good. I mean, I would, look at the sheep. We got freaking sheep now, Simon. How's it make you feel? I know, look at them. They're, they're so cool. cute. Feel their wool, dude. It's I haven't like, even petted them yet. Oh, God. What is? It's what? like hard and soft. Yeah, it's though. weird. Come on, everybody. Millie, Millie, you're going to get beat up by the donkey. Hey, back up. Let's get the donkeys inside. Come on. Go inside. Go inside. You wanna go inside? Oh, the babies! The babies! What are the babies doing? Oh yeah, hook in. Grab a. If you can, grab a bale of straw for that that one. The babies are missing out on the feed. Let's go get the babies out here. We gotta show the babies what's up, and they might want to stay apart. The babies might want to stay here. The new sheep might want to go over there. Totally fine. Oh, it's just the babies. Where's your mother? Come on, let's get out. Come on, little guys. Go. Yeet, yeet. Go, go, go. Okay, come on. Millie, hey, leave those suckers alone, Millie. The babies are coming. The babies are coming. Get in there, babies. Oh, babies, you missed it. You missed your exit. Go, go find your mom. That's where the food is. There you go. There we go. Look at everybody. It's one big freaking happy family in here. Cheese and rice. Your kids didn't get any food. What's that strap? Here, how about we do this? Let's be nice. Oh, God, Dale. Dale, chill. God, this is a madhouse. Let's just. Let's give the babies one of these. Yeah. There you guys go. Hey, right here. Hey, 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 dingus. Right there. Eat that. There you go, babies. Hey, donkey, 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 that was not for you. There you go. All right. Well, they may or may not like this. All the sheep are at the new building for absolutely zero reason because there's no, no hay in there. But they're eating the straw. They're eating the straw. You know what? It probably won't hurt them, I hope. Dude, we have so many animals now. Like, I just got really overwhelmed in there. Dude, you, you have like a whole zoo now. Literally a whole zoo. Like, let's just walk, walk through it real quick, okay? Seven goats, two donkeys, three sheep, six chickens, a turkey, and two ducks. It's like a petting zoo now. Literally a petting zoo. We're still missing like alpacas, pigs, maybe a miniature cow. But that's pretty much it. I mean, we've got mostly everything, but you guys be warm, okay? Tomorrow? It's gonna be like zero degrees. 
like literally zero degrees. Like the high is like eight. But we've got the new buildings. There you go, mama. Get in there. Get in there. Get in there. God, I want a milky rider so bad. We need to get a milking stand, don't we? Yes, we do. Look, what are you doing? All you guys need to go in there. The only thing that sucks is it's kind of dark in here, which I thought about cutting some skylights, um, which I mean, I could still do. But then I thought, well, snow is going to blow in there. And I mean, I guess if you really wanted to do it, you cut them and then take like clear tarp and uh, like staple some tarp on the outside. But it's not that bad. I mean, like when it's really cold, I mean, they can just go in here. Look, have a little siesta, have a little nap. It's not like pitch black in here. And then they come out here for their, their sunlight action. And I'm still going to try to give them their grain every morning out there to make them all kind of walk. You want, you want them to be active. You don't want them just to sit in one spot when it's cold. You want them to walk around. That's another good reason why that water's over there. They have to go there even if they're staying over there. But there you have it, folks. We got sheep. We need names for them. And uh, they're all three literally eating the grass that, well, it's been there for a while. I mean, it's still, it's still good hay. This is like a lot of animals now for them to all get along. I feel like, I feel like we're getting up there where, you know, it might be smart to section them off. We were just talking maybe in the spring, you could run a, a bunch of fence panels this way and split it where you've got one building here with some animals and maybe put a gate over there, one building. And then for water, just run a hose down over there. Cause in the summer, you're not gonna have to worry about freezing and stuff like that. But let me know, is it a good idea to have all these animals together? Or is it not a good idea? Should we should we section them up a little bit? I mean, it seems like everything's somewhat getting along. I mean, the, the, the sheep definitely like to be loners, but that's just because they're new. When you were new to the, the new kid in school, did you go sit down at a random table and start talking to people? If you did, you were probably that weird kid in school. I'm just kidding. Anyways, hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Thank you so much and peace. <laughs>